Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Go the updates. This is everyday's video. The beer's courtesy of Chris. Thanks so much, Chris. I really appreciate it. He tells me this beer is delicious, so like I'm really excited. Uh, it's from Four Points Brewery, Brewing, <clears throat> which I've had a bunch of their beers at this point. But I'm not sure if I've had anything like this from them, so that's pretty exciting, too. Man, Beast, and Bird with Coconut, Cacao Nibs, and Vanilla. 11% stout. Uh, oh, sorry, Imperial Stout. And they don't can on bait, right? Yeah. So, yeah, I'm a huge fan of big, boozy stouts. I love all those adjuncts quite a bit. Uh, this brewery, I think, is phenomenal. So, yeah, I'm really excited. And uh, I, I trust Chris's thoughts, too, because he and I seem to have pretty similar thoughts on if things are good or not. So, yeah, all around, very excited. <laughs> that beer's excited to get out of the can, apparently. Jeez. A lot of foam. All right. Yep, that's good. <laughs> I'll do a more proper review, don't worry. So, yeah, very foamy. There was no off taste the little bit I just had, so I'm not worried about it. <clears throat> Just a foamy beer. Uh, two fingers ahead. I mean, I don't think I poured it that aggressively. There is a little bit of brown at the bottom. So, yeah, it's somewhere in that dark brown to light black kind of a thing. Uh, you can't see through it or whatever. The head almost exactly what I think mocha looks like. Uh, maybe like a, a very... You know, you took coffee and had a lot of creamer kind of a look to it. Tiny bubbles. Not quite nitro, but definitely very small. Little bit of lacing, little bit of legs, for sure. It looks like a big stout. Let's get to the aroma. You do get some nice chocolate. You, it could be from just the roast, but it does kind of have a real dark chocolate. Like I'm talking like those really high end, you know, 86% cacao kind of a count uh, chocolate bars. The way the vanilla is coming through, it's definitely that vanilla bean thing. I don't, it just says vanilla, right? Yeah, so I don't know. You know, I, I mean, they're saying vanilla, so I assume it's real vanilla. But it's very much, I don't know if you've ever like, actually purchased a vanilla bean, but it's very much that smell. Um, not even like cutting it open and, and like scraping the, the innards out. It, it just it smells like that intense of vanilla. With almost that like, how am I trying to say this? Not like earthy quality, but that the smell of a vanilla bean and like vanilla ice cream are not the same thing. Is I guess what I'm trying to get at. It smells like the vanilla bean. There is a nice coconutty, toasted coconut, especially, but almost like actually a couple layers of it because like coconut water. You get some of the base beer. There is a sweet smell to it. I... A nice berry component, like jammy berry. Man, yeah, that it smells good. It is adjunct. Like the the the, the smell is very adjunct forward. I'm not surprised. I don't think that's a knock. I've had this conversation many times. People have different opinions. Whatever. I don't mind it. It smells great. I know it tastes great, but let's get a proper taste. Cheers, and thanks again, Chris. Oh, man. Like, that foamy top on the can <laughs> was good enough. Man. It, it's approaching syrupy in the best possible way. You get the dark chocolate, but there's enough sweetness, and then that syrupy thing... Mixing in with the vanilla, where it does have like the Hershey's chocolate syrup vibe as well. Basically, the aroma, I thought it was going to get a little bit more coconut. It's there, don't get me wrong. The vanilla is nice. It's not a dominant thing. For me, it's, the chocolate would be the thing that's dominating the most. Um, it's candy bar stout. It's a little reserved. You know, it, it's definitely in the conversation of a pastry stout. Um, 
I, I think you could definitely call it a pastry style, but maybe you want to put the qualifier like it's a little on the not weaker side, but like it's not as cloyingly sweet as those beers can be. Uh, but it's definitely in that wheelhouse. Th this is this is really good. Um, like I said, I've enjoyed this brewery and, and fruited sours from them, IPAs, double IPAs. I'm sure I'm forgetting some of their styles I've had from them. Get excited. I love their you know, can art too. I get excited when I see them in a box when Chris sends them to me. I don't think I've had a beer like this from them. They killed it. But again, I'm not surprised at all by that. That time I was getting more, ah, I get more vanilla. That's nice. It's compounding a little bit. Quite a bit. I mean, we know I'm the vanilla police. And I'm pretty tempted to say this has the appropriate amount of vanilla. So I'm just going to say this has the appropriate amount of vanilla. Yeah, this is killer. For 11%, I'm not getting the ABV. Um, there is some dryness, which helps, you know, cut through. Like I said, like, it is sweet. It's that low-end pastry style kind of a thing. But um, there's a little bit of that, like, bran, brown bread, uh, uh, tiny, slight molasses. Um, this bit video will be released before my uh, Seller Saturday video. I recently had a beer that had way more molasses taste to it. But, like, this has a hint of that. Um, yeah, this is phenomenal. Thanks again, Chris Metzger. So I really appreciate it. If you had this beer before, what do you think about adjuncted stouts? Are, are you sick of them? You just want regular stouts? You still love them like I do? You love both? You don't care? It's all win? What a great time to be alive is kind of my mindset when it comes to this stuff. But what do you think? Comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews about those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly... Imbibe. Cheers, everyone.